Time for DIY Friday. Today we're checking out some projects that will keep kids busy. And joining us now we have Jill Miller from Projects in Person in Hopkins. And you've got some great props and we start yes. with this one. Yes, in fact they all involve painter's tape today. Okay. So um, keeping kids busy, right? Summer you kind of get all excited in the beginning of the summer and then you kind of start putting out. Running and, out of ideas. Yeah, mm -hmm. school stuff comes out and you're like, oh, it's over. <laughs> It's not over. We still have a whole six weeks to go. Oh my gosh, exactly. don't end it yet. Yeah. I know. So let's talk about some easy things. Like this is an indoor thing. Kids can do this. Mm -hmm. Make a racetrack. Maybe right? on just your tile at home. Exactly, because that's what's so nice about painter's tape. It's not going to damage anything. You just pull it right, right. up. Or you want to get kids ready for school, do some letters, do some like like big letters. They can do hopping or words for some of your older kids that are learning those sight words. And I'm a former teacher, so I like to keep extending that. I learning. love that. <laughs> so it's sort of like chalk. I mean, chalk on the on the driveway, maybe for a, a rainier day too. You could do it inside. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And then we have the fun stuff. Yes, All right, squirt, squirt guns. guns. Yes. So that, those actually have paint in them. And um, if we want to use some painter's tape, this is just a canvas. And I've already done an example here. I just taped it off and okay. I had a little bit of fun So that's myself. after and this is before. Yep. And they, kids can do any design they want. So are we going to step over and actually try it? Yeah. Or if you're not the art kind of kid, you're more of a target practice kind of kid. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Nice this one. This fun. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Hey. Okay, now I feel like this this is maybe a bad idea if you don't have a lot of space. We'll do it outdoors. Do it outdoors, outdoors. okay. Yeah. Yep, in the grass. And you don't wear a suit while doing it. No, yes, exactly. <laughs> My kids are always going to wear a suit, no matter what. That's good, that's good. And then finally we've got some tic-tac-toe in front yeah, of us. Yeah, and this could be indoor or outdoor. Those are just lids to paint cans from the hardware store. Um, X's and O's, and you just make your Steven own tic-tac-toe. Steven and Josh are, are cool. helping us out, play along. Thank yeah. you to both of you. I love that game. Super easy. You could just yeah. grab me. Maybe a blanket at home and put the tape on. Exactly, yeah. Today was a no tool day. Mm -hmm. um, but so, you know, these are things little kids can do, big kids can do. But I do have a workshop coming up at PIP that's for teens. It's our first teen event, 14 plus. And what can teens do? This photo display board. Oh, cool. So hang up your photos, right? Actually print them off. The Don't ones just put that them they on post Instagram. on social media. Exactly. They can print off and put in their room, maybe. Yeah, come into the shop, build with your friends. And, and what would this cost for a family that maybe was paying for their son or daughter? This is $55. Okay. So, and it's a full experience, all the tools, all the materials. and. Um, that's August 22nd, Teen Tuesday. Jill, you always have such great oh. ideas. Where, where's Projects in Person again? It's on Main Street in Hopkins, downtown okay. Hopkins. And if you are interested in seeing more of Jill's DIY projects or even signing up for a workshop, you can visit our website, wcco.com slash links. Thank you, Jill. Thank you. Thank you.